Um, I never had the accountability of what I was eating. I would eat anything. I was purposely not plan my food so that I ended up grabbing junk food because I liked junk food. Was, I thought it was great, you know, nice, easy. Um, and because I used to leave it late, I justify mentally that actually this is okay to do this because you can't find a drive through salad bar. <laughs> food I liked, food that I could justify, as I say, mentally justify, oh, this is okay because actually been really busy today. It's a stressful, hard day. Um, so tip. When I was standing next to my peers and being asked to walk, give a, um, a talk on anything, I'd feel inside I'd come across as being overly confident, knowledgeable. Inside I feel like a bag of shit, excuse my French, because I thought everyone was looking at me and why should I listen to this guy? Um, he can't even control his own weight. Look at the state of him. It was just inside of me, not feeling worthy, I suppose. Worthy, yeah. Um, Slimming World, I've tried um, the Juice Diet, um, I've tried uh, <laughs> the Slim Fast one, which um, I've tried oh, the last one, the Cambridge. So uh, I've tried them all. Well, not them all, but I've tried a fair percentage. And actually, what you realise is that that's a business model. And they're not interested in you losing weight. They're looking for addiction. And the association between product placement and you losing weight. And it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I'm beginning to influence people who I work with and it's amazing to see the number of people who've said, Dave, what are you doing? I, I, you've lost, you wouldn't have seen me before, but um, I've lost a lot of weight and people are noticing it. You know, I've lost four and a half inches from my neck. I feared that probably I wouldn't have the mentality to continue, because it's not about anyone else, it's about me. And um, I wouldn't have the mentality to see it through. And it surprised me how I have. The magic part about the program is, it's all about me. It's all designed around me. There's nothing, there's no, there's not a one, one size fits all. That's what's magnificent about it. It's about what I want. What do I want to drive? What's my drivers? What's my fears? There was a couple of things Michael said to me about, um, you know, the, the program isn't a magic solution. It, it's actually what, what it will do is you will change three things, three small things every week and eventually we'll get there, but I'm here. I'm, you, but you are accountable. You know, if you want a cheeseburger or a Big Mac, you can have one, it's no problem. We're not demonizing food in. It's about you understanding you and what you can and you can't eat. So for me, I then thought, well, that sounds too good to be true. You know, that actually it's pretty easy and um, three small things. Although he never said, to be honest, I'll rewind that. He never said it was going to be easy. He said, if you're serious about it, then you will have to face everything face on and you will have to be seriously committed to doing it. Well, I think this program is individually designed around your mind and what's gone wrong in the past. And actually it makes it so clear and easy that actually this isn't about a fad diet. This is about sorting the root of the problem, the root of the issue, which is up here. It's nowhere else. Nobody, when, when I was um, born, somebody didn't say, well, that's a fat kid. 
then no. It's just me and understanding. Really, it's so basic, but actually in, in, in the speed of what we do in our careers and our lives, we forget some of the basic things. It was great to, one, unburden myself with what I felt and what I thought and actually have a route to, to feeling better about myself, but also to make more educational decisions around food. I can't think of any negatives um, because, of course, a lot of, of um, Michael's job is just to ensure that when I have success, I recognise it. So there's a lot of repeatability of, just say that again, what have you just done? Just repeat that. Um, and sometimes, because I don't want to believe that actually, <laughs> I know I've done it, but I've got a long way to go. So I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard because actually I'm only partially along my journey. You know, it's 37 pounds you've lost in 10, 11 weeks. Every week you've lost weight. You you know, <laughs> you look at my blood, my blood pressure was just incredible. I was 150, 152 over 80 something when I started. And I'm now at 115 over 72. That is just my resting heart rate was 78. It's now 52. So, so and I just, uh, you know, I, I really am keen. I find myself parking far away, so I get the steps in. I find myself, yeah, a lot. It's just changed. I can't believe that I've changed that much in 11 weeks. Um, uh, Non-judgmental. Openness. And actually knew before I said what my issues were going to be. So we had almost a telepathic and because of course where I think people sometimes um, don't realise that actually what I'm going through is not a new problem. Michael's talking to people every hour of every day about people who've seen it all before. So he knows what I'm going through. Uh, 39 pounds. It, it feels better when you don't say anything to anyone and they know this. Um, and I purposely wear baggy clothes at the moment because I feel good that clothing is too big for me. And that sounds ridiculous, but hey, it's making me feel good about myself. It's a reminder of where I've been and I am going back there. So, Because actually all the big... With the exception of one shirt, everything else I've thrown away because I ain't wearing it again. So, Because that was a, another exercise I went through, was looking at all the clothing I had, and I realised that most of the clothing I've bought in the last few years, I bought because it fitted me, not because I liked it. It's a great um, uh, reaffirming that actually, and a lot of these are all little positive things uh, I'd like to think I've, I've done and been influenced to do. And they all just all make a much bigger picture of positivity. Well, um, what I dearly like is to eventually get to my the BMI band for my height, which is about 12 stone three. Um, I'd like to do a three peaks challenge, um, but and I, and I know, you know, we, you, we have to be realistic. That's going to take me a while, but I'll do it. It's going to take me a while. And I want to go, my daughter does a lot of um, long distance running. So I want to go, because I used to run a lot when I was a lot younger. So I'd like to run with my daughter. But, and, I, you know, we've got to be realistic. <laughs> it's going to take a while, but then, you know. 
if you don't have a plan, I won't eat anything. I'm thoroughly confident that I can do it. I have no, no problem. So if you look on the first week of week of, of my 11-week um, journey, the most I could only do was seven miles in a week, whereas this week I'm going to do touching 39. Because I'm competitive every day, just try, even if it's 5% improvement on the day before, um, just and now I'm up to when I first did a mile I could do a mile in 35 minutes now and it's still high numbers for fit people like yourself but at 19 minutes now for a mile walking whereas before I would use excuses oh it's raining or or Lynn who's my wife or Lynn is a bit busy so she don't want to go for, oh well let's do it tomorrow I don't do that anymore I just say look I'm in control of my destiny and actually I am going out now now, if Lynn wants to go for a walk later, brilliant, but I've got a target I'm going to hit. So it's brilliant, yeah. I feel really, really good, really motivated. Um, I feel healthy. Uh, I don't get out of breath. I can face exercise easily. I'm uh, body conf more confident in my body. And I know that if I can go into a store, I can pick up something that will fit me. Don't hesitate. This will change your life. Do it. Don't make any excuses. You've had a life of excuses, and the same for me, a life full of excuses. Just go for it, do it, take the decision. What is it? It's a few quid. You spend more than that on coffee through the year. Invest in yourself and do it. Accountability, somebody who understood somebody that wasn't over sympathetic and just analyzed what you had to do. Um, somebody that actually gave you some clarity as to what you had to do, didn't give you this marvelous panacea, just gave you three things that actually you set yourself. So actually, how can you fail? You set the goal and then push the goal to say, well, no, no, we're not doing that. You did that last week, we're gonna do this. So yeah, it's great. No, 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 not at all. That's the beauty of it. No restrictions. It's not about diet. It's about measuring calorie intake and being an adult about what you're doing, accepting responsibility that actually, if I eat all these calories, I'm only going to be burning this out. So the natural progression, you can put weight on. So be sensible about it. It is about the accountability without the judgment. It's non-judgmental. -judge just accountability simplified with um, a non-judgmental attitude. Uh, lethargic, ashamed, fat, unhealthy, out of breath. Um, I feel a lot, a lot better about myself too. Um, my food choices were a lot more balanced. Um, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily altered my confidence in front of people because I'm because of COVID. I'm stood in front of anyone. Um, however, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't necessarily. Whereas I used to shy away from maybe doing too much public engagement stuff, um, I'd be more inclined to, to go for it now. I, think. I feel um, 
equal. I feel I have a right to be there. I won't be ashamed of who of the state of me. Because before I used to go out and before we'd have these meetings, I'd just look at myself and say, look at the state of you. I'd hide mirrors in hotel rooms so I didn't have to look at the state of me. It's going to feel like the last piece of my jigsaw is together. The unquestionable self-belief in me, the, the fact that he's given me and inspired me, given me the tools to actually push on each week, um, and the accountability. I, and I know I use that word a lot, but I think the reason I'm this shape is I've had no one to be accountable for. I am, yeah. Uh, um, I've got to say that I'm proud that actually, when I sit back and, and, and I know it's um, part of um, just re reaffirming, one, you guys get me to reaffirm things because actually it soaks in. But then when you sit, and the reason I record everything is because then you sit back and you think, actually, consistently, you've lost weight. You haven't put anything on and you've continued it for 11 weeks. Um, so I'm proud and I, uh, yeah. But there is a little bit of hesitation there because the journey's not over. Um, I don't want to be too self-congratulatory yet because I've got a lot further that I want to take this and I'm going to. I am not going to stop till I'm in the BMI range. I'm